Good morning, everybody. Waking up. Still got the tired eyes. Oh, I'm heading to an estate sale this morning. Why? Because I'm crazy. I am getting ready to move, as you guys know. But apparently, I have the same problem all of you have. So don't judge me. Okay, fine. Keep your judgments or not, whatever. Um, I'm going to this estate sale. It started yesterday. There were actually a few garage sales I saw on the way home that I'll probably hit, but it's really cloudy. Okay, gotta drive. Okay, so it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday garage sale, or uh, ooh, estate sale, and I just rolled up. It's in a gated 55 and older community, so, and it's listed as an ex-antique dealer, so they're gonna know their prices on stuff, but I'm looking for jewelry. Gosh, my hair looks like, ugh, today. Uh, but I'm gonna go in the, there's still a line right there. I'm really surprised. I saw a ton of signs, but I'd already made a map in my head. I'm gonna go here, and then I'll hit whatever I find on the way home. But I saw a ton of garage sale signs on the way here. But I'm gonna go get in line because they're starting to roll up.
Ooh, air, air, warm, it's warm. Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> I did really well. Okay, you guys, I put the footage in before this. And I, I spent $15.75. And if I told the lady, if I, the lady, if I wasn't moving, I would be spending a lot more money here. Because the prices were amazing. My initial thought was, oh, it's an antique dealer. They're going to know the value of the stuff. They're really going to, you know, have eBay prices or whatever. But they didn't. So let me show you what I got. You probably saw some of it as I was walking around. But I got this. At first when I saw it, I thought it was a plastic one, which I probably maybe... All right, my husband called because he knows I lost my mind. Uh, they had these two really big pictures, like Art Nouveau prints framed. Uh, they were 75 bucks a piece, and I love that style. And so I called him or and sent him the pictures, and I'm like, what do you think? He's like, no, no. <laughs> okay, fine. So let me show you what I did get and why. So I got this one again. I thought it was plastic when I saw it just because of the paint. And it's messed up a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter if they're messed up. People want that farmhouse look. And this one's pretty heavy duty. It's, I've never seen one like this. It's got rings on it. These pegs are super long. Um, so yeah, it's really sturdy, a sturdy one. So that was a buck, 75% off a buck. So it was 75 cents. And then I got two things, which I'm on the fence about for me. Because I, I don't know if you know this about me, but I collect nesting dolls. So I have quite a few. But I got this one because I don't have one that's like this shape where she looks like, I don't know, I just liked her. I like that yellowy patina on it and then I liked her shape because I don't have one that's like that. And then this one was fun because it's all these different little animals inside. I guess he just ate like a cat or something. And then this cat ate another cat. I don't know if they really ate them, but anyway, it goes on. So I didn't have one that was like him. Is that a cat too? Maybe they're all cats. It looks like a dog or a wolf. I think it's a dog. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so those were three bucks a piece because they were 75% off of four dollars. I can't get it to focus. There we go. 75% off four dollars. Then I also got these two bucks. So 75% off two bucks. Quick, what's that? It's not a nice square number for me to. But these ones, I think, when, the reason I was going over them in the bag, that my brother had some of these pewter figures. And they're like Dungeons and Dragons type characters. Um, I don't remember what they're called, but I'm probably going to give them to him. So there's this dude. They're like Dungeons and Dragons guys. They're dated, what does that say? Is that a date on there? 79, I think, is what it says. When did Dungeons and Dragons come out? I thought that was in the 80s. Maybe it was in the 70s. So here's a guy. He's carrying his bro. I don't know if you can see that. Then there's this little, his little hobbit dwarf guy. And then another guy carrying his, there's not 13 of them, 14. Anyway, <clears throat> um, maybe they're dwarves. I don't know. So I'm going to see if my brother wants them. I bet he will. I bet he will. But we're going to be up in Dallas next weekend. So I'm going to take those up to him. But I think he had some of these growing up. That's why I, when I saw them, I was like, ooh, those look really familiar. He may still have them. So, <clears throat> buying back your childhood. Then I also got this vintage Texas wallet. It's really, you know, it's got a good, what you call it? It's distressed. So that was 75 cents. It's a small, okay, they're smalls. And I got another Texas, it's a keychain spur, which I think is super cool. It's been, whoop. that'll hurt though. But that was also 75 cents. And I got this really cool jewelry box treasure chest. It's got a pin that goes through, you close it and you can slide the pin through. My kids are gonna try to steal this, I know it. I know it. And then it opens up. But I have been promising them they could have a jewelry box, so there's that inside, velvety. So this may be one of them that one of my boys takes. Because they collect trinkets, and they have trinkets. <laughs> okay, so there's that. that. Oh, that was $3, because it was 75% off. And then I got cards. Now, I've had luck in the past selling vintage playing cards. I was choosy. I got... Mork and Mindy, which I've never seen before. 
And they've got different characters. I, it's been so long, I can't remember. Is this from, like, was there a Mork and Mindy cartoon or something? I don't even know. I bet there's Mork. Nanu Nanu. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, maybe there was a cartoon. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know. There, were, there are a couple of them that are kind of messed up, but I don't think it'll matter if somebody's a Mork and Mindy fan. Maybe. We'll see. I took a chance. How much did you charge me for the cards? I don't even know, honestly. Then I got, these were sealed. They were Kermit and then Miss Piggy. But I won't sell them together. I'll sell them individually. And then I'll link in my listing, or on Etsy, you can do that. I guess you can do it on eBay if it's an eBay listing. Um, I'll link, like, hey, if you want Kermie, he's over here. If you want Miss Piggy, she's over here. And there's the link for it. Oh, a buck. Okay, so they were 75 cents each. And this is Ellington Field Military Transit Alert, always available. So somebody who's in the military, Ellington is a used to be an Air Force base, now it's a field right near me. So that's where we go see our air show. Anyway, so there's that. Um, again, I spent fifteen seventy-five there. I did okay. I didn't buy bigs or breakables. There were a couple breakables that I was really, really wanting to pick up. But I don't want to pick up any breakables because I've already got so many that I'm just dreading packing up and moving. Okay. So now it is 9.49. I'm going to try to hit a couple garage sales on the way home. But we are on the way today to go see my dad. I hadn't mentioned this. My dad has a knee replacement. So he's at the rehab center. My sister's in town. So we're doing that. And then i got to figure out what I'm going to do with these boxes. Okay. It's a reality. When you're moving, you need boxes. But you may not know this about me. I have a thing about cardboard. I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff. Now I have it in my car. I put a call out, you know, friends, I need boxes because we're moving. But now I have them. I don't know what to do with them. I know what I, I know what they're for, of course. But my thing about them is roaches. Okay, roaches and cardboard are like peanut butter and jelly. And it's like, okay, I don't want to bring them in the house because I don't want bugs in the house. And I don't want to put them in the garage because I know there's bugs in the garage that's so going to get in the cardboard. And then when I bring it in the house, there's going to be bugs in the house. Yeah. Okay, you feel me? So now they've been sitting in my car and I have some more friends who are like, Margaret, we got boxes for you. Do you really want them? Like you do. But I don't know what I'm going to do. Yep. <clears throat> but it's removing, right? Boxes are a reality. My sister like, just go buy plastic tubs for everything. For everything? They're like five bucks a tub. I guess if I was buying new boxes and the new like moving boxes are like a buck and a half or something. I don't know how much a box is. Then yeah, maybe I would buy the plastic tubs. That's still a lot. I don't know see what happens. I have a lot of tubs, but I got a lot of stock to pack up in it. All right, we got to go. Just let's go. All right.